Hello friend, welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel. You know very well this Volkswagen Jetta. It's a 2009 Jetta wagon with relatively low 125,000 miles on the odometer and I just arrived this morning to the shop and when I walked by I was unloading the vehicle I had a feeling I smelled the brakes so what do you do when you smell brakes there's nobody driving around you as you can see you just driven your car and you smell brakes well what do you do the safest way is carefully touch the rim if you had the brake caliper stuck even the rim can be super hot these are absolutely cold despite the fact I driven for 12 miles and guess what this I feel the heat coming from this side I completely feel that it's radiating the heat is radiating you unfortunately cannot feel it in the video but trust me this rim is hot to the touch not too much but it's really hot so we have a problem despite the fact there are brand new brakes look the front one nothing absolutely cold to the touch despite the fact you saw me do the entire front brake job and the rear brake job doesn't matter the rotors and the pads were replaced the calipers had no problem whatsoever but we have most likely stuck piston in that brake caliper so we will resume here I have some services coming to my shop but we will deal with it this afternoon if I have found that both rear wheels were hot the rims were hot that will mean that I most likely forgot the parking brake on and I've driven with that engaged but we have only the rear wheel on the passenger side so let's go look what could be causing this problem and when you're trying to figure out what is the problem in this case you have to consider absolutely everything so I mentioned already and you know it from this YouTube channel that I did a front brakes and rear brakes just recently but I didn't mention that we left for one month we were gone one month in Europe and we are here in Northern California this vehicle was sitting for one month on the street not in garage I had here in garage the big van the camper it was sitting on the street and we live very close to the ocean like a one mile so there is a lot of that air coming from the ocean everything needs to be considered when you try to figure out what's wrong with it so I will go still for this one these fronts obviously turn less because there are CV axles connected to the transmission but now comes the last one is it completely stuck I really really wonder let's see did I do the bad job on the brake job or what is happening well look at it it's turning way less that is some drag way less than this one they really the way the way the brakes work the pads should always back off from the rotor how much this one turns see that you can hear the brakes but the, the pads are barely touching that rotor here has the same sound but that's the drag and we need to look at it closer and last thing to check it's the both sides the parking brake assembly so you see the cable coming to the caliper you always have to make sure that, that those levers are fully released and they are sitting on its stop so the lever it's touching on the left piece of metal which is part of the caliper that's its stop I can see this one is fully released that's a good wheel let's look on the other one 
these when the calipers will be full of dirt even the dirt will cause this this brake parking brake cable will be not uh, releasing there will be play right here if I can click on that the ball right there in the lever might be loose and the lever itself will be not touching this metal on, this time on the right hand side but it's all the way out this is fully released so I, I don't suspect that I have a problem with the dust in that caliper and there's nothing else to do have to take this apart here we go and now comes the most important part when I can really feel it will this turn freely or it's getting stuck and it's definitely this is definitely dragging too much I can tell you that so that's a problem when there was the mass or weight of the wheel it will still rotate but not right now. This baby, it's definitely dragging. That's why that drag created that excessive heat on this side. And I'm going to remove right now this caliper. So far, I don't feel like I did some mistake on this job. And here we go. Here we are. Now can you see any of that? And this is what I'm saying. This piston needs to be coming when you brake this way to push on the pads, but then it needs to back off. And that's how it's designed. Everything else on the assembly seems to be perfectly fine. The sliding pins the floating system it's totally fine if I turn the rotor you can see it's moving totally fine it's not like the brake pads didn't get lubricated or anything like this so we will focus on that I did film this job in great detail on this channel so I will be not doing it right now uh, it's not what I'm doing today. I just want to show everybody what is causing this. I finally positioned the tool and now it's easy again. Look at that. This is very easy. But this is definitely deceiving. But this floats really nicely and correctly in. So I will again screw it all the way in. Also, what could work to just pull that the shield on the side without damaging it and get some silicone lubricant inside of that entire assembly. I have sprayed more of that silicone in it. I can either hop in the vehicle or use the lever of the parking brake to get the piston out of the caliper I'm going to do again what I did before I will press the piston all the way in using this special tool so this is coming back 13 millimeter bolts are on the sliding pins and right now obviously the brake rotor will be moving around easily because we didn't apply any pressure you see the sliding pins are perfectly lubricated and this will turn easily because we need first to extend that piston towards to the brake pads. So let's go and do it in the cabin using a brake pedal. So let's go and use that brake pedal and even operate the handbrake, the parking brake. So there is a play in it because right now the pedal is soft because right now I'm pushing, moving. Oh yeah, and it's hard. The pedal is hard so I know 
that piston reached those brake pads again. So I did it plenty of times enough. Let's also operate the packing brake. And that will we are making sure that we operate all the system. Everything's fine and let's go check if that brake rotor will rotate free. And I just left it low without lifting it. And look at it. It's the same as we expected it. So now the options are complete replacement or taking this caliper completely apart. Cleaning it, rebuilding it, if somebody is willing to do the labor. Obviously the easiest way is just to replace it. And this is where I will finish this video, because I just wanted to show you what could cause that smell of the burning brake pads, that smell of the burning brakes on your vehicle. So I hope you find this helpful that it explain you the basics, what to look for and how to diagnose that. If you like it, please give it a thumb up and stay tuned. I have way more coming your way soon. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.